back here at the NHL Entry Draft. Pittsburgh up to 13 now on the clock. Radic Faxalady chose <laughs> with the 13th overall pick to the Dallas Stars. But the biggest news right now, Jordan Stahl traded from the Pittsburgh Penguins to the Carolina Hurricanes for Brandon Sutter, the 8th overall pick, which turned out to be Derek Pouillats and uh, another prospect and Lyle, uh, whose, whose name escapes me. Uh, the 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 ratifications ratifications that's not what I'm looking yeah, for yeah yeah is it the ratification the, the annexation of Puerto Rico well, let's go with that yeah what what mean this trade going to do for other people how bad <laughs> <laughs> well uh, first of all I'll get you the diagram next second for me and then we'll uh, we'll go on from there um, no this this was uh, this was uh, as you can say it's a blockbuster it's a huge you know it's a huge deal um, you guys hear me okay. Yeah, uh, it, people are just clapping here, so if you could maybe speak up a little bit louder. Okay, how's this? Is it better? <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, this, as I said, it, it's definitely so far it's the blockbuster of the night. Uh, you know, unless, say, Rick Nash or Bobby Ryan move uh, or Roberto Luongo, this was it. I mean, so much for Ray Shiro not uh, trading guys on their wedding night. Uh, but anyway. Um, but yeah, it, but honestly, as, as an analyst has said, I mean, this is a move that Shiro had no choice to make. I mean, Stahl turned down a 10-year, $60 million contract extension yesterday, um, made it clear that, you know, what is it, that makes it pretty much clear what his intentions were going to be. It was widely believed that uh, even if he was traded to another team, not called Carolina, uh, he wouldn't re-sign with them after next season when he would be an unrestricted free agent. The only team he wanted to go to was Carolina to play with his brother Eric. So they decided to, to do the move now. And it's a good deal, I think, for both clubs. Um, you know, let's face it, Jordan Stahl, he was never going to move up uh, into either the top, you know, top line or the second line, you know, with Malkin and, and Crosby there. So, I mean, he, he had to move on to a team where he was going to get that chance, and he will get that chance now. Uh, in Carolina. I mean, it remains to be seen if he ends up, uh, you know, playing on Eric's line or if he winds up centering the second line. I mean, that's going to be up to Kirk Muller. But let's face it, I think Muller's going to try the try the brothers there uh, on the same line and, and see how it goes. Uh, but for the Penguins, you know, they get something good back in return. I mean, uh, Brandon Sutter is a proven third line uh, checking center. He's not going to be, uh, you know, harping about wanting to move up or anything like that. He's perfect for that role. So now they can roll with Crosby and Malkin in their top two and, and just go from there. And, uh, you know, they wound up with the eighth overall pick. So, uh, you know, they're able to get themselves, a good de you know, a good defenseman in there as well and uh, a prospect. And it frees up a significant cap space, uh, which they could use perhaps maybe to get into uh, a bidding war for uh, Zach Parise. Or maybe they pursue uh, somebody uh, by a, maybe, maybe by a trade. Maybe they get into the Bobby Ryan stuff. Maybe they get into uh, Rick Nash, or maybe they do a swerve and they sign Alex Semen. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I think the big thing with it, with everything right now, is that uh, uh, it, it, it's now we're at a crapshoot. Now we're at okay. The first shot's been fired. Are there going to be any more shots, or is this just all a whole lot of posturing? Obviously, Bobby Ryan apparently saying he wants to leave. Uh, Anaheim in the dirtiest way possible, and then you got the uh, the uh, the Nash rumors ever popular. Uh, what do you think, Lau? Can you see a lot more fireworks here? We're not even halfway through the draft board, and yeah, we're getting salvo after salvo. But right now, it's just blank. So we're going to see another big rocket ship, or I don't know. Give me some another uh, ammo analogy that we can use here. I mean, <laughs> but should I stick around for the last part of the draft? Is what I'm saying. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I think it would be a mistake for you to, to, to book off now and make an early run to the bar to get there. <laughs> you read my mind, Lyle. Absolutely, <laughs> sir. You guys know it. I'd be there. Man, if, it, if I was there with you, then we'd, we'd, we'd right now be flipping coins to see who gets the book out early to go and reserve the spot. <laughs> but, uh, no, but I, I, I do think we're, we're not done here yet. Um, and as far as Bobby Ryan goes, uh, I'd like to see a little more confirmation on that. I mean, so far the source from that is uh, now it's out of the Camden Courier Post, uh, which of course is uh, his hometown, well, his hometown paper's Cherry Hill, but it's still, you know, in the neighborhood. Uh, but I'd like to hear more from uh, from the Ducks on this, uh, what their plans are. 
I mean, he may just be, you know, he may just be getting tired of all the uh, the rumors himself. Maybe just wants the force management to like, okay, look, make a decision. If you're going to keep me, keep me. If you're going to trade me, trade me. But make a decision. I'm getting sick and tired of this. Right, effing now. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, I'd like to hear a little bit more on that. But I mean, if he's getting weary of this, I, I definitely think that if he is really tired of this and wants to be traded then this weekend got a whole lot more interesting. And uh, it, it definitely makes things difficult now for the, the Blue Jackets uh, to try and, and uh, to move uh, Rick Nash because here's a more affordable option, a guy who's right. carrying a contract significantly more affordable that's available who's also a couple of years younger. So you got to figure the Rangers and Flyers now are going, uh, okay, Columbus, uh, hold on, I've, I've got another call on line two <laughs> with Anaheim. Yeah, and not not to mention, uh, and you mentioned Alex Semin's name. I mean, this has to at least, uh, you know, kind of stir his feathers a little bit because he was kind of the only decent winger available. I mean, in free agency. But you know, if if they if he can be a try, if Bobby Ryan can be acquired via trade, then that kind of lessens his value a little bit. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But like I said too, it could prove an interesting swerve. I mean, if you're talking about the Penguins. Uh, if, listen, I mean, if they don't go after uh, Parise or if they lose out, and if they can't acquire, afford to acquire a guy like Bobby Ryan, and I definitely rule them out of the, the Rick Nash sweepstakes because, again, the Blue Jackets want too much, and that salary is too expensive. You know, why not? I mean, hey, you, you know, wouldn't surprise me if they maybe took a look at Semin, but, of course, it depends on if he's, you know, if he's the right kind of player. Semin is a, is a guy, I mean, he's got the skills. I mean, you, you know him, Mark, as, as a Caps fan. I mean, you yes. know, he's, guy, he's got the skills, but... He always leaves you wanting more, and and that's the thing. That's ultimately what's going to hold him. What's going to hold up his value. But again, I wouldn't rule out that possibility. It could be interesting, wouldn't it? All of a sudden, it's like that's Simmons music. It's Simmons <laughs> he's, going to he's going to Pittsburgh. Well, uh, some some of the uh, Washington Capitals beat writers seem to think he's already gone. So I won't name names, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. So. Well, there's your coverage of the uh, Eric Stahl trade, or excuse me, Jordan Stahl trade. Jordan Stahl <laughs> going to join his brother like, Eric yes. Stahl in the wonderful Raleigh region, the, the, the triangle, as they call Which it. is great, because I'm sure Mark Stahl obviously is at his brother's wedding and didn't get invited to the bar to take Hold shots on, we to have, celebrate this. We do have another trade, it looks like. Um, well, Gary Bettman is stepping to the podium right now. Yeah, but it's this... Uh, hang on, yep, yeah. Trade yes. alert. Trade alert, according to and and we will try to talk through this one because I noticed in the last one that here we go. Rumored to be moving their pick. Hang on. Yes. This way, Calgary is trading their pick number fourteen to Buffalo for picks twenty one and forty two. Yeah. So just picks being traded here. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing serious there. Interesting. The Sabers are picking that uh, that high off the board. I mean, just right after they picked Gregorenko, and now they're going to pick maybe another guy who's possibly 27. Uh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> 24. Um, Hang on. Uh, 21 and 42 are the picks. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, there you go. 21. 14 for 21. 44 hike. Yeah. So there's that. Um, just right. real quick, guys. Uh, were, were you surprised that uh, Forsberg and uh, Gregorenko uh, fell out of the top 10? I'm not surprised Forberg dropped so uh, far just because a lot of people's apprehension that he's going to stay in Sweden for much longer than this next year. Right. But uh, the Gregorenko thing is interesting just for the fact that a lot of stuff has come out about him negatively. So I think right. a lot of teams don't want to have that kind of uh, fire on their tail. Um, but, I mean, you look at it now, it, it could be a steal for both teams to both pan out to you know what they're expected. Philly, Philip Forsberg was the top-rated European by central scouting by the end of the year, so he obviously has an upside. It's right. that risk-reward situation that the Caps are playing in right now. Right, and I think the Caps have obviously been burned before with enigmatic Russians, and I love that I can do this and people can see it now. Uh, with uh, Kuznetsov staying in Russia, I mean, and, and this is obviously a different situation since um, Grigorenko is, is playing in Canada, but... You can never, you can never be too sure. And I guess with uh, with Forsberg, I felt that they probably felt that they had a more, um, they had a better chance of of bringing him over and and having him actually contribute to the team. So yeah. who knows? Yeah, and and the thing too, I mean that that thing with Grigorinko, uh, the thing to remember too, it was reported. I mean, people were pointing out the, uh, yeah, uh, hang on, what was that, Lyle? 
Uh, it's the same with the two of the Sabres were picking there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the thing with Gregorinko was uh, there was there was a lot of negativity about his performance in, in the, the, the Quebec Major Junior Hockey playoffs. But it turned out that the reason for his lack of energy in that was that he had mononucleosis. You know, and if you've ever had mono, I mean, that, that kicks the stuffing out of you for yeah. a while. So, yeah. So that explains that. So, so yeah, I mean, it would be interesting to see how it works out, but those two could end up being steals for those two respective teams, no question. Especially Absolutely. for, uh, yeah, well, especially, I mean, hey, for the Capitals, you're getting, the, you know, Forsberg, who, you know, can play with Backstrom, or at least Backstrom can, can be there maybe to be kind of as, uh, as a mentor as well. So that's all good, too. Absolutely. As the Buffalo Sabres pick the Latvian sensation from another nation, <laughs> Zemmis. Gregor Ason. <laughs> this is fantastic. Sorry. This is wow. this could actually beat Hampus Lindholm well, as the best name right now. This is fantastic. The Sabres have just cornered the market on Gregor Enkos and Gregor Gensons, and they unfortunately they lost out on Galianchuk or, or Galian. What a, Gal Chan, I'm never going to get that one right. Or else and, they're they not, and they're not cuckoo for Coco Pops either. So there you go. <laughs> no, that's the sad part. Oh, so, all right. Well, wow, it's, it's been real. It's been fun. It's Absolutely. been real fun. And we'll get back to you sooner rather than later if there's any trades going down. And, uh, yeah, kids, check out the, the, the Spectres Hockey, and uh, he'll have <laughs> everything there if there's anything late breaking. So, uh, yes. Lyle, we will talk to, you talk to you later, and we'll talk to the people on the YouTube a little later as well. Absolutely. You know where to find me, guys. Cheers. All righty. We'll see you guys later. Peace.